Hello, this is Aaron Maller from Parallax, and this is just a quick video to go over uh, the trim materials uh, for your project uh, based on the email question that you had. So to show you, I'm going to just copy up Windows to a second story in the Windows sample file here. Uh, and you will see, of course, that right now this is the exterior full trim, and this one is the exterior full trim. One important thing to notice is that right here, you're only seeing a single family name, whereas Revit normally names things as family colon type. What it means when there's only a single family name is that the type name is named the exact same thing as the family name. So here, if we go find surround exterior full 01, you'll see that the type is named the same thing, and that's where the materials are currently selectable. So if you wanted to have different materials top and bottom, you totally don't need to make a new family. Uh, you just need to make a new type. So you can have lower level, and then if you want to, you can have uh, upper level. And you don't actually need to make a new family at that point. You can just duplicate them and have upper level as well. Now they can both have different materials. Uh, so in this case, we can go into the upper level and just say that the exterior head material is going to be red. And you'll see that if we were then to go back into the surround selector on this window, you'll see now that you see the rest of the name after the fact, and we could change this one to basically be upper level. Uh, the nice thing about this, by the way, is it also means if you wanted to, uh, the upper trim and the lower trim can, of course, be completely different sizes because now all of these parameters can be different for upper level and lower level. Uh, let me know if that doesn't help solving that issue.